In this video, I will show you how to fix the Roblox error code 403 if you do have that coming up. So let's get straight into it. So if you have a error code that's been coming up lately on Roblox, which is this error code 403, and it says an error was encountered during authentication, please try again. There is actually a way to fix this, and it's actually very easy to do, but it's just a couple of steps that you do need to follow. So make sure you do stick around and watch this video all the way through. So of course the first thing you can actually try is simply turning your computer off and on again. Now by restarting your computer you've probably already tried that but sometimes this does actually resolve the issue and you should be able to load up Roblox. If however you have tried that and you're still getting this error message come up, the first thing you're going to want to do is come to your search bar down in the bottom left hand corner and in here you want to type network. And then you want to go ahead and click onto the network status, which is the app that's going to come up at the top of the menu. So what this is going to do is basically bring up your network status, so things to do with your internet connection, and this is all related to this error code 403. Now from here, what you're going to want to do is click onto the network and sharing center. So if you actually come down a bit down the page, you're going to see an option here called network and sharing center. So what you want to do is give that a click to open up the network and sharing center. So this is going to open up a window that's going to look similar to this and then from here you're going to want to click onto your internet connection. So you'll see up here where it says access type internet and then we've got the actual connection which you can click on. So what you want to do from here is go ahead and give that a click and then from here you want to click onto property. So if you come down here at the bottom you're going to see this properties option. Go ahead and give that a click. And that's actually going to load up a window that looks like this called Wi-Fi properties. So what you now need to do is look for this option here, which is Internet Protocol version 4. Make sure it's highlighted and then go ahead and click on to properties again. So what we're now going to do is actually change this so we use our own DNS server. So what you're going to want to do is come to this section down here at the bottom and you want to click onto this option which says use the following DNS server addresses. And then into the preferred DNS server, you want to put 8888. Eight, eight. And into alternative DNS server, you want to put 8844. Once that's done, go ahead and click OK. And then what you're going to want to do after this is close all these windows down. So you're trying to come out of all of these. And then from here, the next thing you're going to want to do is actually uninstall and reinstall the Roblox player. So what you'll now need to do is come back down to that search bar down in the bottom left hand corner. And down here you want to type add or remove programs. And then just simply go ahead and select the add or remove programs app. So this is going to take you across to a screen that's going to look like this. So this is where we're going to come to uninstall Roblox. So what you can do is just scroll down and search for Roblox from the list. Or a quick way to do it is if you click onto the search box here and type Roblox into there. And you're going to see the Roblox player come up here. So what you want to do is give that a click and you're going to see the option to uninstall Roblox. So all you would do is click uninstall from here, run through the setup wizards. And then once that's done, you can come out and close this window. So once that's done, you can now go back onto Google Chrome and come across to Roblox.com. And then from here, all you need to do is simply open up any game you want. And then what you're going to do once you've chosen a game to load, you just simply need to hit the green play button and it's going to come up to download and reinstall Roblox. And then once that's done, download and install Roblox. Once that's done, you will then be able to go ahead and successfully fix the error code 403. So I hope this video helped you out today and if it did then make sure you do leave a like on the video. I really do appreciate it and make sure you do hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials for everything tech and digital related. So I just want to take a moment to thank you for watching this video and with that being said I will see you guys in the next video.